So we make a very beautiful. So every people like this uh, colors and contrast. Okay. So it looks like a nice. Then we just make a left screen bigger than the PowerPoint screen coming out. And if you want to have a different, uh, different, uh, the virtual monitor, we call this is virtual monitor, and whole scene is a virtual camera movement. All right. So we use only one camera, but we can make a many virtual camera scene. This is a one scene. This is the other scene. So every scene we can make by computer, not by real camera. So when you start uh, my lecture, for example, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start some presentation today in IST year 2014. My name is Ryo. Your name? It's Jason. Jason from? Georgia. Georgia. So you are a teacher or? Yes. Teaching. So the, uh, right now, every teacher is doing live teaching in the classroom. So what we are bring here is making video lesson first. And the classroom play video and watching together and make a question and answer. Because when you put this video in the classroom, every student has their own mobile device. So they can stop, they can rewind, so they can manage the lecture. That's why the recording lecture with a, at least better quality than, than the live lecture, very important. So once you have a video lesson, which is uh, really better than the live lesson means this video every student can watch individually, either at home or in the classroom. And then after that, whole paradigm of education is changed. Excellent. And also, you don't have to repeat the same lecture to every classroom. You just play every classroom, and then you can make a question and answer only. Okay. So one time you make a lecture, this one can stay wherever, and also wherever. And in real time or offline, this one can be used. So my recommendation is to use this machine in the classroom. When you have a live lecture, we record. So next classroom, students come, you replay the video. And also you put this one video in the YouTube, everybody can watch worldwide. Okay? So that's the whole idea. Because the, the quality of here, for example, I use this mouse. When you want to show the left screen, you can click the left screen, so left screen coming out like okay. this way. And then every student automatically make attention on that screen. And then you bring here, and then you can draw something like this way. And also you can erase there and make it smaller. When you want to have a document camera on this side, we can, we can click, the, if you click this one, we have a, the mouse is not working very well now. Anyway, monitor two, we can bring students a camera here so we immediately have a document camera. So the teacher has all the capability of managing content change from, from this machine and also they can also do the action of the camera to have their own style of the showing. Sometimes when you want to talk to the students, you make your, your face big. Sometimes you bring this one in the big, then every student is automatically watching the project screen. That way, students don't have to decide which one they have to watch. The teacher knows which one they have to watch. So the teacher brings all this attention from your operation. So if you use this one in the live classroom, every student concentrates on watching the project screen. Same time, same content recorded. And also, same time, we can um, distribute this one by YouTube live or Skype by directional things. So there's a whole new idea how we change the classroom structure of the uh, teaching instrument. So the software is? Yeah, this is called iStudio. iStudio. Yeah, we, we make uh, 